back to fine cigar reviews. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a fine cigar. Today we're going to be looking at Rocky Patel Royal Vintage. I have a 6x60. Very nice looking cigar here. Middle veins, nice tight seams. Looks like a nice double cap. I have had this in the Robusto size, the 5x50, and they're really good. Just trying this larger size to see if these are any better. It's got a nice Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper and the fillers are from Nicaragua and Honduras. Not sure about the binder, tried to find info online, but I don't know. Let's get a cut on this. Drop my cutter. Anyways, let's take a smell. 60 ring gauge is a tad bit large for my cutter, but I did it. Not too bad. It smells like a nice earthy tobacco with some milk chocolate. Let's get our light going, get our toast on. very firm in the hand. It's not too spongy. I like that. Right off the bat, the draw is perfect. Got a nice medium body. Getting a flavor of just light notes of cocoa with a nice sweet finish. Pretty decent. Well, I'm about 15 minutes into it now. Burns fairly even, not too bad. Still got that nice cocoa flavor. It's very creamy. Little notes of coffee now, almost like a cappuccino. With just a touch of charred wood on the finish. Well, I'm about 30 minutes into it now. Burns fairly even. And the ash real quick though, the ash is leaning. About the 20 minute mark, and some nice notes of leather. Then that nice coffee espresso flavor disappeared. Just recently, I've been having notes of a very rich black cherry. That's pretty interesting, and it's really good. Nice black cherry flavor mixed with tobacco. Had a little brown sugar on the finish there. Yeah, this cigar is getting really good. I'm about 45 minutes into it now. Burns a little uneven. About the 35 minute mark, that nice flavors of black cherry transitioned into a sweet raisin with a very, very sour current finish. And that was really good. Unfortunately, that only lasted a few minutes. Now the flavor is just a nice sweet charred wood with just a touch of raisin on the finish. Well, I'm about an hour into it. Burns uneven. Ash is really flaky. I'm gonna ash real quick. Knock a little bit of that flake off. That nice charred wood flavor has developed quite a bit of black pepper, especially on the retro hill. That's pretty decent. Ooh. A little black cherry note there. That's pretty good. 
Let's get these bands off real quick. They've been sliding back and forth on me. I could probably just slide them all the way to the, yeah, I'll just slide them off. The first one, there's the second one. These aren't too fancy. One just says Royal Vintage and the other says Rocky Patel. Well, I'm about an hour and 35 minutes into it. Burn is a little uneven, not too bad. Draw is still excellent. Nice medium body. For the past 35 minutes, flavors have been rotating between raisin, charred wood, and black pepper. Really good though. Nice intense flavors. Pretty nice. This is getting rather small though, so I think I'm going to call it quits on this one. Yeah, that's really decent cigar. I think I like it even a little more than the Robusto size I've had previously. Definitely a good cigar. Definitely worth a try. Had excellent flavor transitions. Performed fairly well. Not perfect, but pretty decent. Yep, I definitely smoke a lot more of those. Those are good. Well, I hope you have time today to enjoy a fine cigar. And until next time.